We have new details tonight on a high-speed police chase that turns deadly. It happened last week in Waukesha County. Our Zoe Chapala learned more about the two boys killed in the crash and the charges filed against their father. My legs gave out. I fell to my knees on the bathroom floor. It's been one week since Curtis Vincent's four grandkids were caught in the aftermath of a high-speed police chase in Waukesha County. I'm not sleeping. His grandsons, 10-year-old brothers, Paul and Zapolian, didn't survive. Every time I close my eyes, I think about them. I think about my granddaughters and when they have to be told that their brother their uh, cousin is no longer with us. Now those two girls, 14 and six years old, are still at Children's Wisconsin, fighting to recover from those critical injuries they got in the crash. State of Wisconsin versus Paul D. Vinson. It's a complicated range of emotions for Curtis. His son, 29-year-old Paul Vinson, was charged with 10 felonies in connection to the incident. He's also the father of the two boys. I'm dealing with anger. Anger about all of this, I feel like I'm in a bad dream. A criminal complaint says police tried to stop Vincent for speeding and driving without license plates. But prosecutors say Vincent sped off. The chase started in Pilwaukee before ending fatally in Delafield when the car crashed. I have three loss. I have the loss of my two grandson and the loss that I'll probably never see my son again. Six people were in the car that night. Vincent driving and his girlfriend in the passenger seat. Prosecutors say the kids were in the back, not wearing seat belts or sitting in car seats. Yes, he made some mistakes. I don't know why, but at the end of the day, he's still my son. Curtis wishes he could reverse time, but he knows he can't. For now, he's trying to focus on what he can control. In Milwaukee County, Zoe Chapala, Fox 6 News.